Frog on the Log by Leyland Peary Down in the woods where the river runs through By a creaky old hut and a leaky canoe Stood a marvellous mountain of mossy old logs Which happened to house a small family of frogs Now, those frogs like to bathe in the stream in the sun And roll in the moss which is good froggy fun, till one day the river rose up and the logs were washed down the river along with the frogs. Now frogs are good swimmers, I'm happy to say, so safely they watched their homes drifting away as they sat in a row on the bank, except one who drifted along on his log in the sun. I will not abandon my home, said the frog, and he drifted along in the sun on his log. An hour passed by when the frog saw a dog as he drifted along in the sun on his log. It stood on the bank, quietly having a drink in the shade of a tree. And it made the frog think, Kind dog, I appear to need some assistance. I have drifted downstream a considerable distance. The bank by the hut is the place that I yearn. To my friends and my family, I'd gladly return. Small frog, said the dog, I would carry you gladly. But wood tends to splinter my mouth rather badly. So ride on my back if you like, said the dog. But you'll have to abandon your mossy old log. I will not abandon my home, said the frog. And he drifted along in the sun on his log. Another hour passed as he drifted along, alone on his log in the heat of the sun. When he happened to spy in a nearby bog, the snout and two eyes of a mud-loving hog. Dear hog, I appear to need some assistance. I have drifted downstream a considerable distance. The bank by the hut is the place that I yearn. To my friends and my family I would gladly return. Small frog, I've been bathing in marvellous muck. You could cling to my snout, but your log's out of luck. I'm afraid it'll simply slip off, sniffed the hog. So you'll have to abandon your mossy old log. I will not abandon my home, said the frog. And he drifted along in the sun on his log. The sun now was sizzling high in the sky and it beat down upon the frog drifting by, laid out on his log at the rivers and loomed at sharp jagged rocks and certain frog doom. I wish I'd accepted the help of the dog or hopped on the snout of the mud-loving cog. He fought when he saw at the base of those rocks the splintered remains of some mossy old logs. But what was that bobbing along in the foam? A log that was moving away from the stone. There was no time to think and the little frog knew it. He took a deep breath, then he hopped right onto it. How sad that I had to abandon my home, said the stubborn old frog as he smashed on the stone. Then looking about him, he saw with surprise his new mossy log came complete with two eyes. Well, what have we here, said the stunned crocodile, and he grinned at the frog with a wide toothy smile. A log hopping froggy, and I have a hunch he hasn't dropped by for a spot of light lunch. The frog gave a gulp. This is worse than I feared, thought the frog on the crock, and he shed a small tear. I'm done for. 
I've had it finito, kaput. I'll never again see the bank by the hut. Now, now, said the crook, stop crying this instant. I too have been swept a considerable distance. From way past the hut and the leaky canoe, I'm heading on back now. Are you coming too? So upstream they travelled, the croc and the frog, and they waved as they passed by the mud-loving hog, and the dog on the bank in the shade of the tree to arrive at the place where the logs used to be. Thank you so kindly for taking me home, said the frog on the croc, now no longer alone. And he hopped from the back of the croc to the bank. The croc waved goodbye, then his crocky heart sank. Nice frog, I appear to need some assistance. You see, I lead rather a lonely existence. My home way up river was washed away too. So if it's okay, can I stay here with you? And that's how we'll leave them, the greatest of friends. There's no better place for this story to end. A family of frogs and a crocodile too. In a crocky old hut and a croaky canoe.